Some of the world's most energetic and enigmatic creatures will soon be calling the North Carolina Zoo home. Two species of lemurs, ring-tailed and red-ruffed, will be taking up residence on this island habitat in the zoo's African region. The former monkey exhibit has been retrofitted with climbing trees and other amenities to make the lemurs feel right at home. But preparing for the arrival of a species never exhibited at the zoo before has involved a great deal of work by keepers as well as other staff. Zoo curator of mammals Terry Webb tells us more about lemurs and getting the park ready for a different kind of animal. All lemurs are endemic. The only place they occur is Madagascar. That's a small island off the coast of East Africa. They are primates. Lemurs have a long face and more of a dog-like muzzle. They also have a moist nose. They use their sense of smell to do most of their identifying which foods are safe, recognizing which individuals are who based on, on smell and odor. The exhibit before did not have a lot of vertical or horizontal space above ground. They do a lot of leaping side to side from tree to tree. We built artificial climbing structures, artificial trees, planted new trees. At this time, we're going to be exhibiting two different species of lemurs, the ringtail lemur and the red rough lemur. They tend to be very, very active. They're brightly colored, they're demonstrative, and tend to give the public something to look at, learn from, and understand how the animals are living and what they're doing. The tree-hopping, anti-gravity antics of the lemurs are sure to be a big hit with zoo visitors. If you'd like to learn more about the lemurs or any of the zoo's other animals, please visit our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.